Jennifer Lawrence is pregnant with her second child Jennifer Lawrence is pregnant with her second child, a representative for the actor has confirmed to Vogue. Last night, she stepped out to dinner in Los Angeles wearing a La Linea t-shirt and sweater with her baby bump just visible. The actor also shares a two-year-old son, Cy, with art gallerist husband Cook Maroney. The couple married in October 2019 at the Belcourt Mansion in Newport, Rhode Island. The news is just the latest page in a fast-moving chapter for Lawrence. On October 25, Zorowski v. Texas, a documentary about the impact of strict anti-abortion laws in Texas that she executive produced alongside Hillary Clinton, premieres in New York, Los Angeles, Austin, and San Antonio. We felt it was critical to not only theatrically release the film in traditional markets like New York and Los Angeles, director Maisie Crow told Deadline, but make it available during that window in locations across Texas to ensure Texans understand what these abortion bans mean in practice. Free screenings in cities with abortion measures on the state ballot this election day, including Charlotte and Phoenix, will also be added in the upcoming weeks. Then, in late November, Bread and Roses, the documentary about Afghan women living in Taliban-ruled Kabul that Lawrence co-produced with Malala Yousafzai, begins streaming on Apple TV Plus until now. Lawrence has primarily been known for her acting roles. From Oscar-winning critics' hits like Silver Linings Playbook to the box office behemoths. Like The Hunger Games. She also recently rapped Lynn Ramsey's Die, My Love, opposite Robert Pattinson. Now, Lawrence is exploring a career both in front and behind the camera, with a particular emphasis on documentaries that spotlight women's issues and broader social causes produced by her own company Excellent Cadaver. It's a career move she foreshadowed in Vogue's October 2022 issue, for which contributing editor Abby Aguirre interviewed Lawrence in the days following the reversal of Roe v. Wade. I've tried to get over it and I really can't. She said. I can't. I'm sorry I'm just unleashing, but I can't fuck with people who aren't political anymore. You live in the United States of America. You have to be political. It's too dire. Politics are killing people. Lawrence's own motherhood journey put the Supreme Court's decision in a different perspective. I had a great pregnancy. She continued. I had a very fortunate pregnancy. But every single second of my life was different. And it would occur to me sometimes, what if I was forced to do this?